we have had a major breach in the war on pretty. Yes, it's reached critical mass. We're talking an extinction level event here. My baby Masika Kalisha has said something that set these heifers off and Lipstick Alley lit up like a Christmas tree, my Jesus. Now for the record, Wisdom Tucker, I guess left a comment on one of Masika Kalisha's videos on Instagram. Wisdom is Masika's beautiful sister. She said, at they want underscore most, so that's somebody on Instagram. Masika's sister said to this person, you really don't understand basic biology, do you? We made no claims. You did. And biologically, what is African American? B, we are black. Period. And then they want underscore most said Wisdom Tucker, laughing my A off. I'm going to let you have this. You're clearly pressed with a shrugging emoji. Welcome to the black community Instagram. Eye rolling emoji. I keep forgetting everyone wants to claim black now, silly me, with a grinning emoji. So Masika Kalisha said to this person, if you don't <laughs> sit your miseducation of the Negro stupid A down and shut the blank up, talking to my sister sideways will get your IP, that's your internet protocol, address pulled. Y'all insecure black beast, now this is the part of the part that really pissed people off. Y'all insecure black beast be so mad that we are beautiful, exotic looking black women. It's colorism at its saddest. You should be embarrassed of your entire life. So in other words, you're being colorist to women of a lighter hue. Now, when I tell you that they went in on Listed Alley, Fasten your seatbelts for the ride that I'm about to take you down. And no, I'm not going to read the over 400 plus comments that are on the website right now. I'm not going to do all of that. But I'm going to read to you a good amount of them. So make sure you listen all the way until the end of the video. Please, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Click the notification bell. And say hi to me in the comments while you're listening. So somebody named Exquisite Melanin said, Wow. She is over the top ignorant and threatening to pull up on someone's house. That's quite dangerous for her to do. She has no clue what she will be walking into giving away her intent when keeping it real can go completely wrong. She is also clearly dumb as F. The universe will handle her. No sense in even dragging her. She dragged herself with that one laughing my A off. Jesus with a laughing emoji. Sad. Oh, an African American is a culture a part of the black diaspora. So somebody named 420 Zell says, this girl needs to go take care of her daughter. They amaze me with having smoke for trolls and such, but none for the bums they have children by. Lies, she even made fun of Fetty only having one eye. She went in on him recently. So somebody named Candy Cakes with a Z says, so who gonna tell Mansika, no matter what shade she is, she's still ugly. Hey, I'll direct message her on Instagram and do it once I got time. Look at how she photoshopped her jawline and chin. Hashtag crimson chin. She posted an old Instagram picture of Masika and she also posted a picture of some cartoon person. I can't post it on YouTube for copyright reasons. Somebody named an angel XO said never heard of this person in my entire life, but I just looked her up and she looks like a man. Funny how manly light skins convince themselves there's something, huh? Now that's true colorism right there. Erica Dixon voice, I am disgusted. Somebody named the good witch, G-U-D, that's how they spell it, said this is why the only claim to notoriety this dirty foot, fraggle rock chin, ashy lipstick wearing, sharpie marker, eyebrow looking, 399 Sally shaking go wig having a bird is nothing, absolutely nothing. She stay in some comments on Instagram. Go take care of your seed, Masika, you raggedy clown. Somebody named Miss Coach 83 said, she's exotic, laughing my A off. Somebody named Friday Foster said, wow, black beast jealous because she's exotic. Girl, what? May her dragon commence. The gloves are off, baby. I really cannot believe she said this. Somebody named Smooth Coco said, black beast, huh? Wow. Who is this troll? Why do these types always resort to the quote unquote jealousy trope every time a black woman doesn't agree with them? Somebody named Curvy Thick says time to Hazel E her. What does that mean? Anyways, shout out to my baby Hazel E. Bucky Barnes says I'm mad. 
I'm mad Issa paid this bird to play herself on TV. Oh, she yeah, she was on Insecure, right? I'm going to have to go back and watch that episode. How does she do? If, let me know in the comments if you watch that episode. Honey is a goddess, said Black Beast. Huh? In her mind, she's quote-unquote exotic and therefore privileged and on a pedestal. Don't all women put themselves on pedestals? Anyways, but n not literally all, but y'all know what I mean. But I'm sure those men in the industry circle beg to differ. Sis is ran through, haggard, and with no real career to boot. Humble young man, humble. Tuh. Really? Why did he keep saying my baby's a man? Anyways. So Candy Rain says, well, she do have a point. She is exotic. Her body resembles a rhino. Her wide back and waist make everyone in the jungle cry in envy. And she posted a picture of Masika with her back to the camera. For copyright reasons, I can't show it in this video. Anyway, so somebody named Pretty Girls Love Nikki, referring to Nicki Minaj. They have Nicki Minaj in their avatar, and Masika was mentioned in the Black Beatles freestyle by Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj is a Masika fan. Anyway, Pretty Girls Love Nikki says, Bigfoot probably did it for free. Anything to be on a set that isn't a Mona Scott or Wee TV production. Somebody named Lava Diaz says, she dug her own grave by saying this mess. Uh-oh, somebody pulled out an old receipt. Pretty Girls Love Nikki said, Also, this isn't her first time saying stuff like this. Last year, and they reposted her tweet from, <laughs> Last year was this year. It says January 20th of 2020. It's May 15th as I'm recording this, so it was this year, dummy. Masika said, It's so disgusting how black women have such skin color issues. How you hate your own race. All the beautiful shades of black skin. Y'all want me to dye my skin pitch black so bad. Some of y'all need therapy. Well, what's wrong with her saying that? This is when people were accusing her of bleaching her skin. Talking about she wants to be lighter. Anyways, somebody named Woke and Spirited says, She know damn well not a damn thing about her looks exotic. She looks like the slightly attractive black girl she is, and that is just fine. All the rapper nuts she done gulped must have gone to her head because her uneven lip A talk like she looks like Rihanna. Child by. That has to, anyways, no straight man with, anyways. Uh, Masika is beautiful and exotic. That person's crazy. Somebody named College Girl B.I.G. says, exotic looking weird, bitch. With yo looking like every black girl from round the way, a well, that's a dang lie. Every black girl around the way does not look like Masika Kalisha. Y'all talking like she's average. You have no idea what average really looks like. It's definitely not Masika. Masika is a prize. That's why these ballers like myself stay hollering at her. Anyways, Pisces Princess Three says Masika been smashed and plucked so much she assumes she's the best thing walking. All that damn walking with her dirty a feet. And their sister is not cute, so both they weird looking behinds can get the hell on. First of all, her sister's fine as hell, and Masika's one of the finest women I've ever seen. Somebody, oh, I think their name is Miss Bunny. They were replying to somebody who was incognito. Somebody who was incognito said that they think they might watch her dirty film tonight. To which Miss Bunny says, what section were you thinking of browsing? Are you going to choke the chicken or just watch for fun? Gonna have any snacks? Why would you ask that person? I'm sorry for even reading that. Somebody named Seminole Girl says, This insecure, dirty feet garden tool wants to talk about quote-unquote exotic like that means something. Where has being an exotic black woman gotten you, Masika, other than one of the many baby mamas to a washed up rapper with one eye, a throwback from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood who couldn't manage to stay on the show, and a frequent commenter in the gasp, or I should have said, <gasps> shade room. And they posted a meme of Phaedra, I guess, saying, have several seats, darling. Somebody named Mary Jane Paul says, I thought somebody bumped an old A thread because this is at least the third time that she says something like this. B word claims to be so beautiful and exotic, but she's 35 plus and has never had a man claim her. I would. That's sad. All that B is good for is posting her botched body on posting her botched body on Instagram and arguing all day because she's miserable and bitter as F. How, for the record, there's nothing botched about Bay. 
Somebody named Mrs. Beery says exotic. But Sika has lost her dang mind. Cass S says, I am here to once again remind y'all that during season one, she was on the show begging a man to admit to his girlfriend that she slurped. She is pathetic and pay her no mind. Her child is from her two week quote unquote relationship with Fetty, which is already an exaggerated timeline. The child support can't be that good, which is why she's constantly crawling back to the show, getting the little pay that Mona offers. She only came back once. This person doesn't even know what they're talking about. So let me see. Christina's 1990 says to that last person that commented, laughing my A off. Definitely remember that. She wanted her Molly to admit she's the side chick just to make Nikki look bad. Nikki was being claimed as the girlfriend. Wow. JDPM1991 called her an ugly C word. That's just disgusting. Let me see. Frapunzel says, I can hear her lisp through my phone screen. Stop it, Hoseika. First of all, I love her lisp. So somebody named Ultimate Gemini. Is it Masika a Gemini? Anyways, they said exotic wear. No joke. I'm actually curious to know what she thinks is exotic on her. Well, she is exotic for y'all that are that y'all don't know that. Anyways, Salili says child in weaves and wig caps got these b words thinking they're unicorns mixed with my little pony that was so corny tease honey <laughs> says what exactly makes her exotic i hate to hear what she thinks that overhyped daughter of hers looks like what a delusional baby mama first how, how, overhyped three or four year old what these people are really y'all see this crap anyways broken pisces says has anybody seen her quote unquote fan page on Instagram, Masika Mafia? And it has about 100 followers? I just know she set that page up herself. County for Life says, Black Beast, ho, stop playing. Exotic? How did those exotic looks help her? Did she catch a baller? No. <laughs> Was she claimed by anybody? No. Have her looks gotten her anything concrete besides bundles, D word, and problems? She's older and been taken out more than the tide with absolutely nothing to show for it. I know her type. She's a rundown, bitter, angry, backwards, hustling hoe mad at the world. This bee has no skills and worse, doesn't have intelligence to learn any. She's unlikable and has no social IQ, so she's unable to interact with other women to learn anything. And in reality, she's killing it in the stock market, and she just bought her third mansion, <laughs> her third house, but okay. I'd be mad too if I sucked and blinked, skied and squirted all over the place, but yet have nothing to show for it except, <laughs> except a baby by one hit wonder. Sweet Lord. Somebody named Mrs. Jeremy Lynn says, Girl, you one of 45 baby mamas to one-eyed Willie. That right there is a self-drag for life. Somebody named Taurus Dust says, Okay, baby mama number 42. Let's see. Chel Scent says, Nah, but this y'all clap back queen. She is mine. Uh, as if that crap so special or something. Y'all think it's funny to sit in the shade room all day laughing at female a-holes who don't contribute nothing to entertainment but a big mouth and used kitties. Until they offend your behinds, then it's an uproar. Never liked that tramp anyway, so this don't shook me. Y'all made this hoe. Don't be mad now. Somebody named Bad Gal Yaya says, Can I say I always think it's interesting when Lipstick Alley busts out with the quote, She looks regular black. Or, quote, she looks like an average black girl in response to these types of situations. Thank you. There is an underlying insinuation that by saying she is not exotic means she is less attractive because she is a, quote, regular black. I'm just saying the way that some fonts word their responses comes across as if they think calling her regular black is an insult or way to debunk her looks. All it does is imply that exotic is some coveted category above the average black person. I think she's attractive, by the way, but I'm just saying shout out to you. That's like the best comment up there. Apples says, I remember her first season on Love and Hip Hop when she flopped that bad boxed body on Cisco's bed. 
that was not Cisco. It was Molly Maul. <laughs> I went back to look for for it one time and couldn't find it. Maybe they edited it edited it out after the fact. But yeah, her pre-surgery body was awful. She had no hips and a high flat boot. I guess they meant to say booty. <laughs> That's why she's shaped like that post-surgery. Girls be wanting these doctors to work miracles. But their God-given shapes always push them through like, surprise you misshapen chick, though you got rid of me. Okay, I don't, I don't understand what they're trying to say. Her lisp, her lisp tells me her breath stinks. How the hell, that's so dumb. And the way her house is always nasty tells me her coochie stinks too. Really? Have y'all ever seen Masika's house nasty? What, the, what is this person talking about? Big A word loser B word is always under every post on Instagram. I bet she probably has an account here too. If y'all figure out what font she is, please quote her and tag me. Yeah, so Queen Oliver says, I don't get why everybody gets up in arms when a celebrity says something very offensive as a response to somebody saying something offensive to them. If you don't want somebody to call you ugly, maybe don't call them an ugly B word first. We're, re <laughs> we're really I hear what we're really I hear talking about an Instagram argument that would never have happened had people minded their own business. That's my second favorite comment. So somebody named Sweetelman says, quote, black beast. Wow. Light skinned women love. And I mean love, lying about being mixed or biracial. They do this crap all the time. But when discussion about colorism, I guess they meant to say when discussing colorism or discussions about colorism pop off, they pull out their favorite gaslighting. We all bleed red card. But to white people, we are all black. This is a lie, by the way. Pause, pause. Listen, why are people so insecure about what they are? This person is clearly an extremely insecure person, allegedly. One day, we will have to address why so many light-skinned women keep lying about being mixed or holding to some sort of mixity so dang hard. Cases in point, Beyonce, Rihanna, or Nicki Minaj. Pause it, pause it right there. They're all mixed. This person is crazy. Hell, when Matthew knows, when Tina knows, he thought she was a white woman. That's Beyonce's mother, if y'all didn't know. They do that crap very publicly and quite often, but no one ever brings that up. Yet they love telling us <laughs> that we are jealous of them and hate ourselves. Notice how legit biracial women like Alicia Keys Tiny, that's Tiny here, is T.I.'s wife, or Tracy Ellis Ross don't even bring up being mixed as much as many light-skinned women do. Many people didn't even know that Tiny's mother is white. How the hell? Anyways. <laughs> but Nicki Minaj never misses an O to let us know that her grandfather or great-grandfather was Asian. Then proceed to call us, quote, nappy-headed hoe and, quote, black girl tragic. The truth is that many of them are projecting hard. They have very low self-esteem. They probably envy biracial and non-black women. Women colorist black men put them in competition with, hate their blackness, and hold being light-skinned as the pinnacle of their sense of self, which is understandable when you have men like YG who only praise their daughter for their skin tone and nothing else. This this person says so much BS. It's too much to unwrap. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to break down how foolish they are. So somebody, oh, first of all, somebody named Agnes Gooch said, seriously, who the hell is this? Why is she famous? And what is her ethnicity supposed to be? So Sade responded to this person by saying clearly people didn't understand her post black isn't an ethnicity it's a color she says she was african-american and she would be correct outrage is worse well, african-american is just made up that's something i heard jesse jackson made up back in maybe the 70s before i was born but it's, it's just a made-up term african-american and she would be correct Outrage is interesting. She is doing too much, but the comments on her Instagram attacking her for not defending herself by skin color alone are idiotic. No one around the world does that, including Africans. P.S. Exotic has little to do with skin pigmentation. It doesn't make you more or less exotic. If dark skin model goes to Japan 
or I guess they meant to say, if a dark skin model goes to Japan or China, they would be seen as exotic. I do feel as though she might have some color issues as she is protesting too much in my opinion. This person is correct. Like they said, if an African model goes to Japan or China, they would be exotic there. Y'all just jealous as you're not exotic. Even though I saw some sisters claiming that black women are the real exotic women. I'm just like, oh wow, insanity. Anyway, so somebody named Enchanted said, her hair is a wig. She's not exotic looking. Black men really got to stop gassing up these women to get some punani. For real. First of all, if she thinks that she's hot stuff, that's just what she thinks. Nobody says anybody's gassing up dark skin chicks when dudes be giving them props. But anyways, Stuck in Broom says, but y'all really bought into the whole quote exotic thing by trying to insult her saying that she isn't. She's just a regular old black woman. Dreadful. Exotic is not a thing. And stop subscribing to the Negro male culture. There is no such thing as, thing as Negro male culture. It's ugly. It's anti-black. It's disgusting. Stop upholding it. You're a flat out liar and a devil. This person who said that. You're an evil. You're, you're a liar. Black men don't even have a culture. Black Americans don't have a culture. Also, all around the world, fair skin is perceived as beautiful. So how could it be Negro male culture? Some of y'all are so delusional. Allie Cat, that's A-L-L-I, says, She looks like a regular old black girl to me, but she wants to be considered exotic like Kamora Lee Simmons, who looks like a dirty foot. Good luck with that. Mixed women, if you're listening to this, you need to take over because you see what they're saying about your looks, right? That, that basically you're the one who's basic. You can't even refer to yourself as, as exotic without them attacking you. But anyways, somebody named Venus and Leo. I'm so tired of the word exotic. All it means is distant or foreign. It's nothing but colorism, featurism, and texturism. Well, your made up isms are cracking me up in the inside because you just <laughs> you're just using made up non-existent words. So this person also said, I never understood why people associate regular degular with black women, but exotic with mixed people. Kimora is exotic to you. Y'all are so jealous. It's just so sad. But anyway, somebody named AAABB says, waiting for her to get quote unquote dragged by them black feet. She is so unhumble. She has never been ugly to me and pre quote unquote fame. She was beautiful. However, she is another example of how Hollywood and the pursuit of money and fame can morally, spiritually, mentally, and physically degrade your entire being. So somebody named Lear Lamborghini One says, well, it's Lamborghini, but with a one at the end instead of an I. Exotic? Girl, please. ETA. How old is she? She looks tired. For the record, Masika's like 32, even though some places on the internet say she's 35. Ocelot Kitty says, I'm a light-skinned black woman with pride, so it's actually very offensive when it's implied that I, quote, must be mixed. Or if I'm asked if I'm mixed. I had to grow up and understand that people only say that crap because of people like Masika that's constantly using her complexion to, quote, other herself in the black community. Light skin is not exotic. And there's nothing exotic looking about her, myself, or many other light-skinned people I know. Most Eidos, uh, American descendants of slaves, have some percentage of white in us, whether we're light-skinned, dark-skinned, or in between. So black people playing into being mixed is pathetic, because we're not. Well, who, who is mixed then? If none of us are mixed, then who's mixed? Do mixed people exist at all? Anyways, because a lot of other people say that we're all mixed. Now she's saying that we're not. Okay, anyways, we Eidos have white blood in us because our ancestors were our word sounds like rap but it has an e on the end that crap isn't cute or cool people like her are corny as f ain't nobody jealous of her dumb behind it's also funny how she tried to other herself until a font called her out on it then she backpedaled saying i'm black and claimed that the font was reaching color as hell i can't stand people like mafrika Sweet Lord, the corny little names. This is why she's the clapback queen and they're not. Look at these corny names. Anyways, uh, somebody named Cognito says, Masika's P word is funky. Saying that her stuff stinks.
I'm almost done with the comments I promise if you listen this far into the video I want you to say the following in the comment section and let me know that you made it this far okay fan fight fan fight in the comment section that'll let me know you're listening right now I appreciate it to the one person who's gonna do that anyway somebody named Ocelot Kitty says What's more annoying is when people try to argue you down about how you, quote, must be mixed. And I'm like, how the F are you going to tell me what I am? I had an Indian guy at a gas station tell me, you're really pretty. You look Indian. I said, um, thanks, but I'm black. And he goes, you really have no Indian? I said, no, I'm black. Weirdos really do believe that black women have to be mixed with something to be pretty. I don't know why anyone with any sense of pride would take that as a compliment maybe he just thought you were part indian because you just looked part indian to him or maybe you were wearing a sari or something anyways hercules 001 says glad she's proud of herself and don't care about dark skin rage laughing out loud too funny light-skinned women can never praise their own group without generating a lot of dark skin butt hurt did i write that <laughs> Exactly. Thank you. Somebody named Shutter00 said, I'm getting, quote, high functioning dope fiend and escort vibes. Who even cares what she thinks? And then low key responded to that person by saying, remember when her daughter was in the hospital after taking a Xanax and she left her in the hospital because she didn't, quote, feel like staying with her something is definitely wrong with her shaking my head i don't remember that at all i don't know what the hell you're talking about but anyway somebody named keep it pretty that's a dope name says to hercules three out of ten troll attempt so in other words they're rating their comment a three out of ten good subject matter but it lacked originality and nuance troll harder anywho i have no idea who she is but she's extremely funny looking so maybe that's what she meant by exotic, like exotic species of mole rat, as in a minion colored lady myself. What is it mean? Anyways, I'd have to say that the only people who bring up other skin tones like this lack self-esteem. I see why in her case, because being quote exotic seems to be all she's got. Sorry for this woman. Jesus Christ. Hercules says to keep it pretty. Some dark skinned women are funny looking too. It don't stop them from getting praise from the <laughs> I gotta use this word. Some dark skinned women are funny looking too. It don't stop them from getting praise for their melanaceous magic, right? Does it mean that dark skinned women have low self esteem when they call light skinned women piss or waffle colored? A lot of of times dark skinned women just don't want to see light skinned women comfortable in their own skin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse my chair for making all of this noise. I, I know who I gotta hit up. I gotta hit up light skinned dish up on Twitter so that she can see this video. I I don't I don't even know if she'll listen to the whole video, but she has to check this one out. Okay, y'all, I'm really almost done. Somebody named Buella says exotic and surrounded by beasts, yes she is still baby mother one of fifteen complete with petty criminal past what criminal past does my bay have shut up you liar somebody named ve1609 says this girl thinks that just because she is light-skinned she is exotical first of all masik is not even light-skinned she's brown anyways somebody said somebody named not you again says whoever called her stroke mouth on here was extremely accurate b word is tragic all the way around and she's trying to use being light-skinned to make herself feel better meanwhile that botched a surgery got her looking like an actual stroke victim fake a word abs with a barely there belly button what what in the world botched a word tts with an ugly a scar to match keep telling yourself you a light-skinned exotic to make yourself feel better you still look tragic b word you shut up you clown awesome a Avastin says she looks like the Grinch. Bye. Seriously? Masika looks like the Grinch? So anyways, keep it pretty, says the Hercules. 
That's why I said, quote, the only people who bring up other skin tones like this lack self-esteem. Using skin tone as an insult indicates low self-esteem because hurt people hurt people. You seem especially triggered though. So as a fellow waffle color Negro, let me just say chill. Light skin doesn't need to be celebrated and uplifting dark skin doesn't take away from any of our other beautiful black skin tones. You hear this crap? Light skin doesn't need to be celebrated and uplifting dark skin doesn't take away from any of our other beautiful black skin. So should we uplift brown skin as well? Or does brown skin not need to be celebrated? Because I'm in the middle, just like Masika. I'm a little darker than Masika. But what? anyways, anyways, none of it makes any sense. Colorism isn't real, except for when it's done against women that look like Masika. Somebody named Sunkiss Wanderer said she needs to go parent her daughter. Here we go with the, the talking about the baby stuff. Crazy. From what I heard from a, a now ex-employee, old girl leaves that child with anybody. She left that kid with the random in Los Angeles so she could go clubbing in Miami. Now, y'all know this a damn lie. She always has that baby with her. Strapped to her hip. What are y'all talking about? Y'all know Kari is her sidekick. And sometimes we see Kari sidekick. Anyways, so somebody named... Uh, Buttercake says, of course, a useless, I guess they meant to say useless. This is a very stupid person. Of course, a useless black male would come in this thread and swoon over a woman who referred to black women as black beasts. Um, this, this hatred for black men is so disgusting. None of this has anything to do with black men, but they keep mentioning black men. And then people will ask me why I made a video about the self-hating weirdos who are always bringing up black men even when black men have nothing to do with anything but listen to this this idiot gets way worse <sighs> of course a useless black male would come into this thread and swoon over a woman who referred to black women as quote black beasts the only time y'all will include yourselves in a colorism conversation is to defend your quote unquote preference even when they are in the wrong now this is all a complete lie but as a black male, shouldn't you be worried about other things such as getting shot down by the police left and right, the school to prison pipeline, and an array of other issues that affect black males? What about the constant cycle of black males continuing to be at the bottom of the totem pole in most aspects of society and every time? Shouldn't you be worried about that rather than on a black woman forum taunting black women? If you want to come for dark skinned women, please realize you are not in a position. I can say some things and pull out some stats that will really hurt your black male feelings. A prerequisite for my future wife is she would want to crap in that person's mouth. That person is subhuman. I won't even get into breaking it down. What they said was so contrived. And so, you know, these, these pseudo black feminists, are, they're so dumb. It's, it's uh. anyways, spark my nature says people seem to be more upset about her claiming to be exotic than they are about the quote black beast and jealousy mindset I've never claimed her <laughs> so that exotic crap doesn't bother me but it's fonts like her all over Listic Alley who get thumbs up for saying what she said in different words that's what bothers me somebody named KX verse says I hate when these self-hating anti black mother blinkers do this just like Coke Brown <laughs> Coke Brown <laughs> they try to play <laughs> play off their racism by making sure they slap on the quote not all black women in some way ignorant racists do this quote you're not an ignorant ghetto blank boon and know that just that blank over there the blacks that live there aren't ghetto I, uh, their words are censored so i don't know what this idiot is saying finally i'm all over here at the end over it all says and this is why i believe a new black community needs to form and let these anti-black lack people have this BS they have created and perpetuated. It is not a community. It's mind controlled lack people who uphold a white standard and real black people should not have to get caught up in that toxicity. More and more black people are seeing the insanity and anti blackness that a lot of lack people. I wish they could go ahead with it. And black people likewise go ahead with our love for our blackness, but jumbling together in on so-called community is hurting black people as these anti-black clowns are just that. Yes, we have all been exposed to anti-blackness. The difference is lack people embrace it and culture it, perpetuate it, and of course deny all the above. They need not be a part of a true black community 
we don't need or want it. Somebody named Walia says, these horses are something else. Notice how black women are always referred to as beastly and animalistic. When it's the mixed women who are most aggressive, really? This is one of the biggest lies I've read all day. These horses are something else. Notice how black women are always referred to as beastly and animalistic. When it's the mixed women who are the most aggressive, ignorant, and pretty dang stupid as presenting here. Either way, this is why they are no kin to me. Disgusting. Sweet Lord. God is good says, the cheek of it all, Masika is not exotic looking even though she is fair in complexion. She is not exotic. Looking exotic is more than that. There are dark-skinned people that are exotic. One is a model called Ducky Thought, who looks like a black Barbie to me. If Masika is as good-looking as she... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, okay, this is the same person, a different comment, though. If Masika is as good-looking as she claims to be, why does she not get married to someone rich and stable? See, Ani12 says, F this... Jizz dumpster moron. How dare you call black women black beasts? B word F off. She's just as bad as Hazel E. And Malibu made a video about Hazel. He better make a video about her too. This B word thinks she's on cloud nine, laughing my A off, 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 off. I unfollowed him because he follows her. Practice what you preach. I'm tired of these colorist black men and colorist so called exotic black women. Once again, the hatred for black men is so strong that this person just had to mention black men black men have nothing to do with this but they keep mentioning him it goes to show you what type of hateful uh sight lipstick alley really is they should be monitored see yaki 1b says and fetty called her a weekend getaway on the show laughing my a off like girl come on she has to be delusional because I think if she really acknowledged the truth of her life, she'd have a mental breakdown. You know it's bad when even Bow Wow had her looking whack on growing up hip hop, laughing out loud. How is any of that funny? Sunny Bunny says, being a caramel black woman doesn't equal exotic. I'm caramel and most people think I'm West Indian, aka black. She's a colorist to call another black queen a black beast. She needs her A-B. And then the person left another comment saying, us black women come in so many colors and looks. We're all exotic in my opinion. Look at that. Now everybody's exotic. Just just make stuff up as you go along. That's that's what they do. Ani12 responded to Goddess X. Goddess X says, here's what she said back to me. Hold on. Let me read Ani12's comment first. I saw your profile. You're beautiful. F this bad built B word. She's insecure as F. All that surgery and she's still miserable. So here's what Masika aka Bay said to this helpful. You're not a black beast. You're a beast who happens to be black. Does that help your dumb behind feel better? Laughing cry emoji. I'm black, fool. Said what I said, ugly self. Y'all be reaching so effing far up my whole A. Masika, don't make me fall in love with you all over again. Uh, I'm trying to reach too. How far can I reach, Sleeker? Listen, here's the thing, right? Black men have something in common with these exotic women like a Masika Kalisha, which is that we're being hunted and hated on by some very by a very dangerous group. And this is why we have to stick together. Because <laughs> they're out here trying to harm us all. They're really sick in their head. Something is really, really wrong with them. These people are not normal people. They're out here attacking people, and for what reason? And then they're, they have this whole fake victimhood narrative, and if you really actually listen to what they say, none of what they say really makes any sense. And they contradict themselves consistently. But they'll make up excuses for that, because they've told themselves a million times they're a queen, and they're not. They're just a joke. It's really, really sad if you think about it. When you have to tell yourself you're a queen, that's just terrible. It's like a child looking at the self in the mirror, telling herself all types of great things. It, it, it's just all made up. It, it, it's just a land of make-believe. It's not real, but it's real in their mind. <laughs> it's just so sad. I feel so sad for these people. But anyway, that's their problem and not mine. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about the beautiful Masika Kalisha and what she had to go through on social media because this is just what heifers do. And heifers are going to hate. And there's all types of beautiful women. Remember, I don't think Masika's light-skinned. 
I think she's exotic, but I don't think she's light skinned. You know, there's exotic women that come in all complexions. I've seen some extremely dark skinned women who were exotic. It has nothing to do with complexion. And exotic doesn't mean beautiful. Masika Kalisha just happens to not be dark. She's brown. She's a medium, like light to medium brown complexion. And she's exotic and very beautiful. Amara Lenegra is dark skinned and she's exotic. She's very beautiful as well. The jealousy and the insecurity of these women who are complaining about the beautiful Masika Kalisha, excuse me, the beautiful, talented, intelligent goddess known as Masika. These women have been driven to insanity by their jealousy, their desire to look like her, to have her, her beautiful lifestyle, to be as good of a mother as she, well, they don't really aspire to be good mothers, but that's a whole other topic. But they see the way that she's raising her daughter. They see that she's in a good position. They see that her daughter's doing well. Her mom is doing well. Sister's doing well. Whole family is living good. They're eating good. Living better now. Gucci sweater now. You know, like the song goes, shout out to major figures. But, you know, they see that basically Bay is doing real good. And instead of celebrating this sister and telling her to seek a good job, they're out here just wanting to hate on her. How are you going to be more mad at her calling herself exotic than her calling you a beast? You know, not that she literally called these heifers beasts. But, I mean, it's like, come on now. Shout out to Masika. And to let me know you listen all the way to the end of the video, the secret password to say in the comment section is rare breed. Because a woman is beautiful, talented, intelligent as Masika is it's just a rarity. So she's a rare breed. So shout out to Bay. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Click all notifications. Be sure to leave a comment below with your opinion on Masika. I'm sure there'll be some, you know, nasty comments about black men, including myself, like, you know, typical nonsense. Colorism is real. You know what? Colorism is actually real. Masika Kalisha is literally facing it right now. So what are y'all going to do about that? I'm out here fighting it. Nothing but the hashtag war on pretty. That's all this is. Shout out to light skin love, light skin dish. All of the beautiful red bones out there. Shout out to all of y'all. Shout out to Hazel E. Shout out to all of the victims of this foolishness. Colorism needs to stop. Shout out to Evelyn Lozada. She's another victim of colorism. I'm tired of this foolishness. I gotta go, y'all. MAGA. I'm about to go bust out the lotion on Hazel E's Instagram. Click the subscribe button right now for more Meat Magazine. Click the notification bell. All notifications. Click the thumbs up button on this video. Post a comment below the video in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe to all the Meat Magazine channels for more videos. The links to my other channels are in the description box.